Hey guys, welcome back. So in this new video, we will work on adding the input um, option at our GPIO configuration. So um, I made a small circuit. So we do have the um, A pin here will be configured as an input and will be connected to the switch, which will the switch itself will be connected to a 3.3 volt here. So as soon as we will be uh, pushing this switch, um, the A0 will become high and we will make this LED blinking again. Good. So um, uh, before going to the kale uh, quickly, so we take a look to the um, data sheet, a block diagram and the APPDU, so always the same register, GPIO A and GPIO C, both of them are the, the same register, so to enable them, we go to the reference manual, so we get back where we, wa where we were, so um, the, um, the, to enable G the GPIO A, we have to enable the pin uh, 2, and C to uh, to enable the port C, we have to enable um, the pin the the um, bit number four. Good. So let's start quickly. Great. So um, good. So uh, first of all, let's start int main void. So our main function. Great. So the first thing to do. Ah, uh, yeah. To, to get it easier again and to have access to this register without um, um, remembering all the addresses, I usually add this STM32F10XH, so it's much easier to get to these registers. So RCC APP2, oh sorry, AP, APB2 enable and we said that the pin number two to enable a so or equal always friendly writing on the register and we will put um four good and uh, this one is enabling enabling port a Next, enabling port C. So APB2 uh, enable and or equal to not mess up with the previous one. And this one would be 0x10. So enabling port C. Great, uh, so now that we enabled both ports, let's save and run. Okay, we have a one warning just to make things clean. Perfect, zero error, zero warning, wonderful. Let's check if we are debugging, yeah, in simulation mode. So let's go to the simulator, run our program and take a look to the GPIO. So for GPIO A, clock enable, great. And for C, also clock enable, perfect. So now what we need to do is to make port A as input. So to do so, we have to go back to the reference manual, go to the um, GPIO or general purpose chapter. We go for the registers and here the configuration. So for the configuration uh, register we have to go for the low one. So I already explained in the previous videos that the low one is to configure the uh, pin from 0 to 7 and the high from 8 to 15. So we need to set up the um, pin 0 as an uh, input so it should be zero zero and also um, it should be so for the input mode as a normal input with a pull up pull down 
um, configuration. So if we go back here, so we stop our debugging mode and we go to GPIO, GPIO A, good, and the control low this time. So first, and equal. So this is a friendly way to, to put um, all the rest. So um, to, to first initialize the pin. So we have to reset it. So I will put 0x FFF for Fs and then FFF 0. Here set the port A pin 0. So this is sorry, reset. Just a reset. And then we go back again. Sorry. So we need to have a zero zero, but one zero. Okay, so we need to have eight. So uh, hexadecimal eight. So GPIO, GPIO, and um, control low. So then or equal to not mess up. And here we just need to put a 0x8 or even 8 here will be quite um, more than enough. So set port a pin 0 as input push pull. Okay, so let's save, compile. Okay, no error, no warning. And let's go for the debug mode and just take a look. Yeah, we have an input uh, pull up down, uh, so quite ready. Great, so now that our simulation is working properly, we can start preparing um, the upload for our code and have a real-time simulation on the microcontroller. To do so, we need to check for the resistor to where we can um, see the input and it is the port input data register, quite easy. So um, this is a, um, a four bits register and for I a four byte, sorry, register and each bit uh, gives the value or the status of the pin. So here for ID R0, we will be reading the pin um, zero value. Good, so it's the ID R um, register and it's really straight forward. So let's create our, our main loop first, while one and open here. So we put if GPIO A IDR and um, 0x 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1. So if I do have a pin pressed Let's say, um, so I'll create just a function just to stop here and to show that. So I'll create here any variable int e equals zero. And here e i will be equal to, to five. Just, just to see what would happen uh, inside it. and. I put int here outside. So by putting the int i, the, the i variable outside, we will be able to read it in the simulator. Okay. Okay, no error, no warning. Perfect. So I will start uploading my code inside the microcontroller. Okay, perfect. So now I'm opening, let me first check, sorry, always check if the microcontroller is in debug mode or simulation mode. Okay, we are in the micro, microcontroller uh, debugging mode. 
Okay, we run our. Okay, and let's put e. Um, add e to the watch. Okay, so as of now, e i is equal zero. So let me press the button and see what will happen. Yeah, see my program stopped here. So let me put it run again. So yeah, so as soon as I pushed this um, bottom, E become five. So I think we can make a better program. And so say if it's pushed, else I will be equal to zero. So let's make a clean code first. Yeah, yeah. I will equal be equal to zero. Perfect. So save, compile. Great. So and load into the microcontroller. Okay. So let's run the program. Okay. We do have i equal zero. I equal five. I remove. Oh, oh, sorry. I think I should show like this. Let me make it smaller. Yeah. So um, yeah, equal five, equal zero. As soon as I start pushing, the i value start changing. That's great. That's really great. And this is um, how we can read and understand. So I applied a mask here. To read only and to get only the value of the pin uh, number zero or pin zero. Good. So um, what I will add now so is to okay. Let's leave the debug mode and set up the um, GPIO C. So we would like to do the pin thirteen. So for here C eight. And um, equal, no, first we need to reset and put and equal and 0x. So we do ff, 0f, and then fff, f, so four f's. Just to quickly check, yeah, one extra f was there. Yeah, perfect. And after that, so n after putting this, we go to GPIO C and C R eight as usual. So we would like to put it as an output to make the pin number thirteen blinking. And we do need to do uh, or equal, and we put zero x zero zero three. So this is. As we have um, shown in the um, video in the previous video's example, okay, great. So um, here our pin is uh, set up as um, as um, an output. Okay, so we don't need any more i. So I'm removing i now, and I will be using only so um, here. So I, I need to create also a delay function, but just here um, void delay and um, int let's say um, input or let's put time we will have a whole t um, video about how we create um, a real delay function controlling the time so um, for here so time greater than zero time minus minus and we open a loop here so here uh, in t so for t t uh, equals zero t less than let put ten thousand one million and t plus plus okay good so this function will just generate um, a random delay 
let me put this one here good to declare the function and so let's create the delay so delay the function oh okay let's put a d i think this is already defined not as a slay but a delay the big d good what's happening delay delays let's put like this the issue is still here declaration oh okay okay it just yeah perfect so uh, whatever the name just uh, forgot the point good so if I put delays here and I put 10 and GPIO C uh, here o ODR and we said pin number 13 so pin number 13 is 0x um, 200 okay so we have seen in details in the previous video however in this one instead of doing shut and down to toggle this is a much easier way to put it like this we put the hat one and this function will toggle the pin good so if the bottom is not pushed let's set up set our pin as always um, not shining Good, let's check if we do have any error. Okay, one warning, we add this extra line. Perfect. And let's see the moment of truth. So now that we prepared everything, I should see my uh, LED here blinking. Let's check. Okay, something is, is happening. Okay. Oh, it's actually blinking, but it's very slow. So let's put only one here. I think I did put too much. Good, let's check. Okay, it's still very slow. So let's remove here one zero and put 10 here and then here okay et voila we do have now a blinking LED as soon as we push our button good so I hope you um, enjoyed watching this video and if you do have any question I'll be happy to answer your comment thank you a lot and see you in the next video where we will uh, create a library to, to set up and uh, make automatically all these options that we went through manually. Thank you and see you next in the next video.